Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I see are hands rub raw to make gold gleam, tears shed in the night over silk embroidery. Others overlook them and forget their pain, but I am divine and I cannot be blind. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Anyone with their wits should fear us. We command more people than some countries. It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. The Inquisition's time is coming to an end. The Inquisition has done enough, more than enough. Maybe it's time for us to lay down our swords and go home. We set out to restore peace, and now peace is upon us. Some things can only be accomplished in shadow, without the trappings of power and the attention they bring. But whatever you decide, I will be honored to stand beside you. Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. That was Ferelden's mistake, just as exiling the Wardens at Adaman Fortress was regrettably the Inquisition's mistake. Of course Orle tolerates the Inquisition's interference. I suspect whenever Gaspard complains, Lady Briala tugs on his leash. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you in private. Divine Victoria? Who is sitting just up there? Yes, and who was once your spy master? It's a pressing matter, your worship. Something has come up. I'll be back. What? This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. 
I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So, what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Would the Iron Bowl know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Tarvashov, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. <laughs> Deadly mysteries of the Winter Palace. Throw in a Hulla statue and some Caprice coins, and it's just like old times. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will extend the recess as long as possible. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. <laughs>